Hey, thanks for tuning in to another taste and experience with Key Encounters. Let's talk about it. The item that we have here is a mini bottle at 17% alcohol by volume. This is a product of Holland. It's a liqueur, and this is Pignac's Rosé. Now, the print on this mini bottle is rather small, so I'm going to head to the website, and this is what it says on the print on the bottom. It says here, tropical liqueur made with French VSOP Cognac, premium Dutch vodka, and a splash of rosé wine. So we're going to go ahead and crack this open. It sounds amazing. Who doesn't like a good rosé, right? So we're going to take this off. Um, just for fun, just to let you guys know, if you're ever going to purchase something, always check your local bottle shop to see if they have a mini of that. So that way you can try it. And then if you don't like it, you didn't waste a lot of money on something big. So these things are really cute. I like stuff like that. So we're going to take the top off. Okay. Give it a whiffle. And also, the, this is glass, by the way. Ooh. Very perfumic. Like a really, it almost smells like, almost like a fruity, like a strawberry cherry lip gloss. It has that sort of lip gloss fragrance. If that makes sense. So for all the ladies who put them nice high sheen lip gloss on that are fruity flavored and they have that fragrance, that's what that smells like. That's interesting. So let's go ahead and grab the shot glass. We don't want to spill anything. And uh, let's pour it and let's see what we got here. All right, we'll just go just a little bit because this is 50 mLs, right? So let's put that right there. It's a pretty color. You know, sometimes I do like when people who produce things Right when they're producing something, I always like it because from a customer standpoint, you're automatically going to go, is it going to be pink or whatever that advertisement is? And sometimes they never really do that. This is a nice rosé color. I know it may look like a different type of color to you, but it is a rosé color. So now, now that we have it out of the bottle and into our little shot glass here, Pineapple, definitely pineapple. Pineapple is just their thing, right? I do smell a little cognac here. Just a little bit. And that rosé is coming through. I've got those, I got that nice rose petal fragrance. And for being 17%, I don't smell any booze. I think the essence of, of this pineapple is really covering everything. So let's go ahead and taste it. It does smell wonderful. This is that sort of thing that you're like, I wish they made a fragrance for. And you'd be like, you're going to get your whiffle on. On this one, definitely cognac. Um, a little sweet. The rosé is the aftertaste. It's creamy. It's got a creamy mouthfeel. Almost like like a vanilla, like a French vanilla oak. And for me, when I talk about like French oak, like in bourbon and stuff like that, um, it's usually very sweet. And it's got this nice, like, this nice mouthfeel flavoring combination. This is really, really good. Honestly, I know the bottle looks weird. But I'd have to put this at some top shelf situation, straight up in a rock glass, maybe one ice cube, maybe. Or maybe serve it chilled, but drinking it on its own is really nice. That is a very smooth item. No, I'm not paid by these guys. I like to give honest reviews on things. For once, I've come across an item here where it's not only aesthetically pleasing visually, but it matches everything else that I'm experiencing from the aromatics to the palate. This is really nice. And the price point on their website is like $33. I've seen it $40. This is something you should pick up because it has a nice taste to it. This is something you would sip on. I wouldn't cut this with anything. I wouldn't blend it with anything. I wouldn't make a cocktail. I mean, it's a liqueur, so it, it has its pineapple essence. As far as like the vodka part, I don't taste that, but I do taste the cognac. 
and that rosé mixed with that this pineapple essence it's it's almost it's like i don't want to say it's like dole whip flavoring with the vanilla and the pineapple i don't want to go that route yet but i'm going to go with like it's really creamy for what i poured and i could drink a whole bottle in a good sitting so if this is something you're, that sounds delicious to you not only if the bottle's cute to you, I get it because it is delicious. I think anyone who likes cocktails or anyone who like mixes stuff, I think this will cut out the middleman and you just drink it straight up. If you got to put it on ice, go ahead and make a daiquiri out of it. Blend that, whip that ice up and then make it like a slushy situation. But if you do ice cubes, just do half the glass in ice cubes. Then fill that all the way up. You don't want to water this down. I think it'll take it away. But straight up and neat, I'd mess with this straight up and neat. Like, seriously, I'd, I'd rock with it. This is really nice. And with that said, guys, appreciate your time. And thank you. Cheers.